determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. So to do this, we just have to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence. And if we get a uh, number, then we say uh, it's equal to uh, that number and it converges to that number and that number is the limit. If we don't get a number, then we say it diverges. So we have a situation here, it's infinity over infinity, so it's a prime candidate for L'Hopital's rule. Now the thing is, you're not supposed to use L'Hopital's rule when you're dealing with sequences. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend for a moment that these are x values and just keep that in mind, okay, and we're going to use L'Hopital's rule. Um, and the reason I say pretend is because there are situations where like um, the limit will exist for sequences, but it won't exist for real numbers. So uh, just think about what's going on when you use L'Hopital's with sequences and you should be okay. So we have infinity over infinity. There's nothing funky going on. So taking the derivative of ln, we have 1 over n. Taking the derivative of ln of 2n, we have 1 over 2n times the derivative of the inside, which is 2, chain rule, right? Again, we're pretending these are x's and nothing is, nothing, everything looks okay. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity. So here we have 1 over n over 1 over n. Oh, look at that, they cancel. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of 1, and so we just get 1. So this limit is equal to 1, so this is called the limit of the sequence, and because we got a number, we say it converges. So again, uh, a delicate procedure here, you know, whenever you have infinity over infinity, you can use L'Hopital's rule. Now, uh, these are sequences, so you're not supposed to do this, so in your mind, just pretend these are x's, okay? I hope this video has been helpful.